Welcome to this demonstration on how to create a workflow that automatically archives SharePoint list items when their status is set to closed. I'm Peter Kelmstrom at Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. First I open the SharePoint list I use with Help.Desk OSP and save it as a template. To view the list I can go to the list template gallery but now I'll go back to the home page and create a new list. I'll use my new template for this list. And I'll call the list Archive Help Desk. When I close the ticket in my Help Desk list, a new item with the same content will automatically be created in the Archive Help Desk list. Next step is to copy the path to the SharePoint site and go to Microsoft Office SharePoint Designer. Here I paste the path to open the site. When the site is open, I create a new workflow which I gave the name Archive Help Desk Tickets and attach to the SharePoint list Help Desk. I hope you remember that this was my original SharePoint list, which I use with Help Desk OSP. This workflow should be automatically started when an item is changed. Now I will edit the workflow to set the condition. If the field issue status equals the value closed. And the action, copy list item. And here I will of course select the newly created archive list. I can of course select to keep the closed items in the help desk emails list also, then I don't have to do anything more. But here I'll create another action that deletes the closed items from the help desk list. Now I'll click the box check and as SharePoint Designer confirms that this workflow has no errors, I can save it. Let's see if this works. I go back to my SharePoint site and close a test ticket. In the help desk list, it's no longer present, but as you see, I have it here in the archive list. Thanks for watching this demonstration and good luck with your own workflow.